Hi, this is Audrey Whittington with Realtor.com, and we're talking about economic insights with Danielle Hale, Chief Economist at Realtor.com. Thanks for joining us, Danielle. Good to be here. So I think one of the topics we're going to talk about now, which is really of interest to me especially, um, because maybe I'll buy, is the best time to buy a home. And so I want to talk about it from a variety of perspectives, not only sort of what time of year, but perhaps, you know, how it might, might differ for a first time home buyer or somebody that's buying their second or third home or even an investment property. So I know that's a lot. That is a lot to cover. So let's start with the research that we have. Um, so on our research uh, portal, our research section of Realtor.com, which is right. Realtor.com slash research, yep. <laughs> um, you can find information on the best time to buy. And we approach this question from a seasonal perspective. So oh, nice. there are different seasonal patterns that we see year after year, trends in the data that you might want to take advantage of if you're a buyer. So. Um, we looked at a variety of indicators. So we looked at the price component. So when mm -hmm. are listing prices high and when are they low? So they tend to be high uh, in the spring and leading up to the summer. Right. And then they tend sure. to fall as we move into the autumn time frame. Mm -hmm. um, we looked at how quickly homes are selling. So there's a seasonal mm -hmm. pattern in that as well, where homes tend to sell faster in the, the peak of home buying season in the spring and summer. Is it true? Are those true? Those everybody's like people buy in the fall and they, you know, and they also buy in the spring. Is all of that? accurate but sometimes I've heard that August can actually be a big month so yeah so people buy year-round but we do tend to see more activity in conjunction with the the school calendar that uh, really drives right. a lot of activity sure, so um, people with kids to want to move in the summer so mm -hmm. that you know it, it's easy I don't know. No maybe it's more difficult no disruption for school but then your kids are around so that might be well that's difficult. true good point <laughs> but um but we do see a lot of activity then um, uh, so depending on the type of home you're buying, it, that can also be a factor. So mm -hmm. if you're that buying a family home, um, you know, there's definitely more availability of listings in the spring and summer, mm -hmm. but you know, you'll know, you'll face less competition. So fewer buyers are shopping in the fall and the early part of the winter. Oh, really? So depending on which metric you're trying to capitalize, if you wanna make sure you get the best price or if you wanna make sure you have the most options based on available inventory, you might wanna look at a different time. So we looked across a variety of measures and we found that the first week of fall is generally the best time to buy where you're sort of balancing competition oh. versus price versus Excellent. availability of <laughs> listings. Um, that said, we, you know, we've already passed fall for That's 2018 right. and it seems like a long way away in 2019. There are other pockets of good times to buy throughout right. the year. So if you miss fall, it doesn't mean you have to wait. March, April, May. Yeah, so we see listings start to come available in the March, April, May timeframe. Sure. You will face more competition from other buyers in that time frame. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you want plenty to choose from, that's a good time of year to buy. I should also say it varies market by market. So we do have this data at a market level. Um, so whether you're in a rural market versus an urban market. Yeah, or even a market in the snowy Midwest versus oh. sunny Florida, you see less of a or slightly different seasonal Well, that trends. makes sense actually because it's warmer in the summer for Florida, right? So mm -hmm. people may not want to move in the extreme heat. Yeah, and you also have um, a different profile of buyers too. That's true like too. you have um, like an retiree older. buyers or mm -hmm. buyers that may not have kids that may not be as tied to the school cycle. Well, that's interesting too because we, on some of our other videos, we talk about moving. And one of the things we learned is that 70% of all moves are done in the summer months. Yes, I definitely believe that. Right. <laughs> so what do you see as a big difference between the uh, the markets, like, like to your point, seasonality per the weather? Mm -hmm. So if it's colder in North Dakota versus Florida, obviously, how does it differ for, you know, when people buy? Um, so, you know, the, a lot of the home buying process, I mean, you can start online, right? You can start at realtor.com and sure. look at homes online, but a lot of people like to see the homes that they're buying in person. Sure. And then you also will often get a home inspection. Things right, like snowy weather can sort of limit right. the amount of the home that the inspector can get to. Right. So I think that's partly why we tend to see a delayed warm up to the home buying season yeah, in those sense. really snow, uh, cold and snowy climates. Right. Um, you know, with that said, people buy homes year round, um, but we yeah. do see those peaks of activity on a regular basis seasonally. And truth be told, you might even be able to get a better deal. Like I you know, have a friend who got a better deal in January because, you know, so she understood she needed to move. So the price was a little more aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes sellers who are listing at, the, at those times of the year that are typically slower, they, they are in a little bit of a hurry, and so they might be more willing to negotiate with buyers, so a buyer might be able to get a better deal. Well, thanks for joining us. That was super interesting. And thank you for joining us with uh, Economic Insights with Danielle Hale and Audrey Whittington at Realtor.com. And we hope you'll check out some of our other videos.